see it. Mark Zuckerberg humiliated as viral photo captures his embarrassing secret. On Tuesday, Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg testified before two Senate panels to answer for his social media platform's data scandal. All anyone could talk about, however, was Zuckerberg's embarrassing secret after a humiliating photograph from his testimony began to go viral online. Facebook's data scandal began with allegations that U.K.-based firm Cambridge Analytica failed to delete data that had been improperly passed to them by a third party. Since then, there have been more revelations about the extent of data harvesting on Facebook, including the shocking admission by a former top Barack Obama staffer, Carol Davidson, that the social network allowed them to scoop data. Davidson said that Facebook privately admitted to giving the Obama campaign special favors. Ultimately, Facebook would lose a staggering $70 billion in market value as consumer trust in the company sank to an all-time low. The continued decline in share price followed news that the FTC has launched an investigation into the social media company. In Britain, the government is also investigating Facebook. Consumer trust in the company has plummeted, and a majority of users are now considering leaving the platform over privacy concerns. Source, Braidbart. According to the Washington Post, Facebook chief executive Mark Zuckerberg endured an hours-long grilling by dozens of U.S. senators Tuesday during which he repeatedly apologized and promised privacy reforms but also pointedly defended his company against the threat of new legislation. If Facebook and other online companies will not or cannot fix these privacy invasions, then we will, said Florida Senator Bill Nelson, the highest-ranking Democrat on the Commerce Committee. Senators repeatedly challenged Zuckerberg's explanations in the wide-ranging hearing. The rare joint session before two Senate panels the Commerce and Judiciary Committees with 42 senators questioning the Facebook executive. Mr. Zuckerberg, in many ways, you and the company that you've created, the story you've created, represent the American dream, said Senator John Thune, RSD, chairman of the Commerce Committee. Many are incredibly inspired by what you've done. At the same time, you have an obligation, and it's up to you, to ensure that dream doesn't become a privacy nightmare. As if Zuckerberg wasn't already having the worst day ever, his pride took a major blow when pictures from his testimony began to surface. The public soon realized that he needed a booster seat during his hearing. You know, the kind they give toddlers at a restaurant so they can reach the table. A picture of the tech mogul began going viral after it was posted to Twitter by Kyvin Schroetfut. Tech companies pretend they don't understand the subtlety of the bias their platforms introduce, but of course they do, Schroetfut tweeted. Zuckerberg is 5'7". His team has him sitting on a four cushion during testimony because they know it's important for him not to look small or meek in the pics. Mark Zuckerberg, who traded in his trademark t-shirt and hoodie for a dark suit and tie on Tuesday, had holed up with advisors in Washington over the weekend to prepare for the hearing. His tone was one of practiced and patient contrition as he described his company's recent failings and efforts to remedy them. But his team of highly paid advisors hadn't just schooled Zuckerberg on what to say and what to wear. Apparently, they also gave him a bit of advice he surely wishes had stayed a secret, use a cushion to appear taller and less demure. Of course, once Twitter saw Zuckerberg's booster seat, social media users fed up with Facebook's antics over the past several months had a field day. To be clear, no one is mocking Mark Zuckerberg for being short. That's beyond his control. When you're seemingly so insecure about your height that you opt for a booster seat as a grown adult, though, it's definitely worthy of ridicule. Zuckerberg did his best on Tuesday to present a certain image. And isn't it ironic that that is exactly what Facebook is all about? The platform is full of people who are trying to convince their friends that their life is more impressive than the actual reality. Even Facebook's algorithm is engineered to further the progressive agenda, instead of showing you the news you want to see. Facebook shows you the news they want you to see. Mark Zuckerberg and his cronies in Silicon Valley have been getting away with murder for far too long now. It is time for regulation. 